Hi everyone. So I thought I would record a super simple video for you today. It's just my favorite uh, one shadow look and it's using a very old, very loved shadow by many. It's the Wet n Wild uh, single, color icon single and nutty. So this is from uh, previous versions. Um, I don't know if this formula was also redone when they redid all of their palettes, but I have one of the older ones. It's so smooth. It's so buttery. You just kind of barely get your hand in there and you have so much payoff. It's so shiny. And when you blend it out in the crease, you get less of the shine and just kind of a shadow. I mean, it's just so easy. It's so classic. And I know that, you know, a million people have done a million videos using Nutty, but I just thought, hey, you know, one of my first videos on my channel was a five minute makeup challenge look. Um, and I used Nutty because it's the business. It's so good. So the first thing I did was prime my eyes and I've been using concealer lately just so I can get a little bit better coverage of the freckles and the discoloration and the veins. And for whatever reason, it seems to be working real, really well for me, not creasing and holding my shadows in place all day. So today I use the Tarte Shape Tape in Fair. I also like the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Chantilly and um, the Makeup Revolution, their Conceal, Contour, whatever concealer that also works well for me. I think I've had some success with the Catrice Liquid Camouflage. So for me right now, a lot of concealers are working. And then I take a fluffy brush like the MAC 217 or the Sigma E25, which is what I have with me right now. I actually don't know where my 217 is. So I just kind of load up the brush on both sides and then I just go in and smear it all over my lid and then blend it up into my crease. And if I want a little more intensity, I'll just go in with my finger and kind of pack it onto the lid a little bit more to get a little bit more shine. And that's it. Uh, today I also, most days, a lot of days, uh, if I have the time, I also will tight line and I use the Anastasia, Anastasia, Covet Waterproof Eyeliner. Oh, in a blue shade. I thought this was the black one. Mm. Mm. <laughs> um, it doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure they don't make this anymore. This is quite old. And then I just glop on a bunch of mascara. So today I used the Lancome um, Hypnose Drama in Excessive Black. And this just goops on a lot of product pretty fast, which is why I like it. And then I did my eyebrows. Today I did something new on my eyebrows and I kind of like how it came out. I used, um, when I'm trying to do something quickly, I find sometimes a pencil I end up like fussing around with a lot, even if it's like a chunkier pencil. Um, I think that shadows or brow powders can be super fast. Today I used a Makeup Geek single in high tea. So this is actually kind of a greenish, um, like an olive brown. And this is some a shade that Christine from Temptalia actually collaborated with Makeup Geek to develop. And I love this eyeshadow on the eyes, but I thought, you know, that greenish shade might actually work well for me on my eyebrows. So that's what I have on my eyebrows today. And I think it really works well because if I use anything like remotely, even neutral to warm, it will look extremely warm. But if I use something gray, sometimes it's just too gray. So I thought that with a very cool brown with a green tinge might work. And I think it's a really nice color in my brows. So I just kind of slapped that on in my brows. I did my foundation and my concealer. The foundation is this is going to be the foundation application will be part of a review and demo video that I have. I will link if it's available. Um, I'm using the Cover FX Power Play foundation in N0. And then I put on some under eye concealer. I just went back to the Tarte Shape Tape in Fair. I put on some blush. This is the e.l.f. Uh, Duo in Soft and Subtle. So these are the lightest shade is even bordering too light for me. So I did like two taps here, two taps here, and then two more taps here. So I could mix them together, but 
putting a little bit more of the lighter color in so it wouldn't get too dark on me. And it's just kind of a natural, kind of almost bronzery-ish shade that's not too warm. It's, it's sort of peach, it's not pink. I like it. And then for my highlight, because you can see that I'm rather shiny, I'm using the Sleek uh, Celestial palette and this, um, and I'm actually using this light gold shade. It, I feel like, is really easy to wear. The, um, the other two more shiny shades here, those I have some trouble wearing without it really accentuating the, the fine lines I have kind of on the tops of my cheeks. And this light gold shade, I feel like, ends up looking pretty dewy and doesn't really bunch up on those lines and kind of skip around the lines. So I'm so happy with that. So that's it. That's my finished look. Um, I just put on some lipstick. Where is it? Where is it? Did I put it away? Yes, I did. And on my lips is one of my old favorites. It's the Maybelline Creamy Matte in Nude Embrace. It's kind of a yellowy, peachy brown nude shade. Um, and I feel like it's a color that suits my skin tone quite nicely. Um, so it's one I wear and have worn for probably years now, <laughs> probably. I don't even remember when that came out, but it's probably been a long time. So that's it. I mean, nothing, uh, nothing complicated, pretty quick, easy makeup that I always know will look good. That's, you know, good old reliable nutty. I know what to expect. Always performs well. Always makes me happy. So I just figured, you know, I would share it. I don't have necessarily a ton of time to put on my makeup. I try to do it when the kids are awake downstairs while they're, you know, playing, doing other stuff. Um, my, I have a four-year-old, two-year-old, and a almost six-week-old. And um, the... The time I have to just hang out and do my makeup is a little bit lower right now, so I'm always looking for something quick like that. Sometimes I don't do any eye makeup, but if I want to do something quick, I, I know Nutty will come through for me. So I just thought I'd share that. So let me know if you have any questions about any of the products I used today. I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for watching and commenting and liking and subscribing. It really means a lot to me, and I'll see you soon.